by Father Jeremy Haberimina. Jesus Christ is the only witness of the Father. Fifth Friday of Lent. Readings. First reading. The Lord is with me as a strong soldier. Reading the book of Jeremiah 20, 10 to 13. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce. Let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me, like a mighty champion, my persecutors will stumble, they will not triumph. In their failure they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. Responsorial Psalm Psalm 17 Response In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength, O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praised be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surged round about me, the destroying floods overwhelmed me, the cords of the nether world enmeshed me, the snares of death overtook me. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God, from his temple he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. Acclamation before the Gospel Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Gospel They tried to stop him but he slipped out of their hands. A reading of the Holy Gospel according to St. John 10, 31-42. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, we are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, you are gods? If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me, but if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many there began to believe in him. Talk Dear brethren, 
Jesus Christ today presents himself to us as the only witness of his Father. Only he knows who his Father is. None of the Gospel Jews knew him, even though they said he was their God. Only Jesus knew him, and so he affirmed that that God of them was his Father. Only Jesus Christ knows his Father well and can speak of his real. He's his only witness to the whole world. However, people, by presumption, by pride, believe that they know the Father more than his only Son, Jesus Christ. Jews want to teach to Jesus Christ who is God, so if he said, that God is my Father, they replicated, we know him and you are a liar. You're blaspheming. Imagine a person who is presenting his father and no one believes it, no one accepts it, what suffering. This is my father, no, it's not. It's a pain. Jesus Christ suffered proclaiming the truth about the relationship between him and the God of the Jews. And these they refused, they didn't accept it. There were some who believed, but many generally rejected it. And that same suffering endures it now, in our time, when we deny that intimate relationship that exists, from eternity, between the Son and the Father. When we do not accept you in our life, and I doubt sometimes whether some Christians have really believed him, if they have accepted him. If they'd believed him, they'd change their language. Because we'd a call God, we have almost kept the Jewish language. And all this happens today, when Jesus Christ has inaugurated the New Testament, New Times, the Year of Mercy. What a grace to men! We, wicked, hardened sinners, wretches, can say to that God, Father, Jesus Christ has taught us, has given us the opportunity to call him Father. We can say Father and feel like his children. That is something new, that is something that only comes from faith in Jesus Christ. As the Father sent me, I also send you. John 20 to 21. Jesus Christ sent us to be his witnesses. And by proclaiming his name we receive the Holy Spirit that makes us children of his own Father. And this Spirit proclaims by our mouth Abba, Father and changes our lives to the rhythm of the life of the Father by making all of us one family. We are all sons and brothers. No nationalisms, no racism, without tribalisms, ethnisms, and all the isms that are a form of discrimination, of separation of people. The love of Christ is the victor of all divisions. Jesus Christ join his own because they are their own body. Those who believe in Jesus Christ are the same body, one flesh. Imagine a body that cannot be divided because it is one, because there is cohesion among all its members. However, it has the arms separated from the body, the legs loose, the head disconnected from the trunk. That body is already a sick, lifeless body that suffers from some deformity. And we can imagine it when a person cannot command his body to stand up, sit, go out, enter, he's not responding. That indicates that there is some part of your body with some abnormality. It's a sign of illness. If Jesus Christ cannot move his body as he wants, if any part of him does not respond to his love, it is that this part is not his son. In other words, when we divide, when we split up, when we so hate in our lives is a sign that we don't belong to Christ, we are not one with him. Either we're Christians or we're not. 
We can't have divisions. What I say can be read in John 13 verses 34 to 35. For communion, for love that you will have each other, the world will know that you are mine. Jesus Christ said so. Blessed are those who work for unity, for the communion of their own and of all humanity. The mission of reconciliation is an evangelical mission of all of us, of the entire Christian Church. When Jesus Christ tells us about his Father is calling us to be his children, to form the same family, the Church, the family of Jesus Christ, the family of the Father, of the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ is the only witness of his Father, and he doesn't care that people don't want to hear you. He keeps repeating what he has to say. It's his mission. He doesn't resign from it even though there are people who don't want to take care of him, who don't want to listen to you. And we, on the other hand, if someone opposes us the more we shut up, the more we get discouraged, we fill ourselves with fear. If we really have faith in Jesus Christ, why don't we talk about him? Jesus Christ is the Lord. We have to tell everyone. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to fill us with that courage that is not afraid of violence that does not use it to convince but uses peace, love, joy. Use all evangelical virtues to destroy enemy traps. The prophet Jeremiah is suffering in the first reading as Christ Jesus also suffered, but he remains a witness of his God. Your safety is that the Lord will defend you and not in doing it himself. This is also how Jesus Christ acted, and we Christians follow his example. Christians have no reason to be violent and, above all, we cannot be because of evangelical zeal. The love of Jesus Christ is stronger than all the violence of all people of all ages. The love of Jesus Christ. That love must dwell in our lives. Because we are children of the Father and we can say, Abba, Father. May the Spirit of love continue to lead us. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Glory to you, Lord Jesus. Glory to you, Father. Glory to you, Holy Spirit. Immaculate Heart of Mary, protect us.